Here are some of the upcoming videos that I will be publishing on my YouTube channel. Today is July 6, 2017, and here's what I have planned for the rest of the summer and the rest of 2017. So, one of the things, if you've been following my channel at all, you know that I had an old layout, or I had a layout, I had to take it down because of some remodeling we're doing in our basement. The old layout didn't fit, plus there were quite a few things that I didn't like about my old layout. So I have since gotten rid of it and have been working on a new layout. It's a modular design. Uh, you can see that I did include a picture of what it's going to look like. It is a fairly small layout. It's going into a, into a small room. Don't, don't have a lot of space, but uh, I was able to redesign it to be able to do some prototypical operations. And I've been working on it since about April, and I have purposely not shown any videos of what I've been working on. I can tell you that it is just about done. I have all of the wiring finished. Um, it is actually, and I built it out in my garage, and I'm going to move it into the basement, into the one of the spare bedrooms that we have by the end of July. So um, hopefully I will be having a video or several videos on the new layout coming up um, before the end of the month, before August 1st. A couple things that I really want to focus on, and I will show some videos of, um, the, the layout itself was made with uh, all Atlas uh, flex track with the exception of a couple 18 degree radius runs. All of the turnouts I used were Walther's DCC friendly turnouts. Uh, they have the electrically isolated uh, metal frog and I have tortoise switch machines that I hook, have hooked up to all of the turnouts and I'm using the tortoises to power route the frog so I, I will show some videos of how I have the frogs hooked up to the tortoise and that way um, there is electrical current running to the frogs which reduces the risk of locomotives uh, either shorting out or stalling as they cross through the turnout. have a lot of really cool features. I'm so happy with how this new layout turned out. Um, have all the roadbed down, track is painted, uh, I mean track, I weathered the track, uh, have all of that done so you'll be impressed with what you see when I'm able to unveil this here yeah, within the next couple weeks. I have some new locomotives coming, uh, one of which I just uh, literally got done doing a review on Athern Genesis uh, GP40-2L in Iowa Northern Rail Railroad paint or railway. So please check out that video, I just posted it a few minutes ago. I have uh, three more Intermountain GP10 Paducah rebuilds coming. I know that these are out, I've seen them on eBay and stuff, but my local hobby shop has not received their shipment yet. I'm getting two of the ICG orange and white units, one ICG orange and gray unit, all with sound. I've already done product reviews on the GP10 locomotives, but I'll be producing some videos just of these new paint schemes. Also have a lot more planned for JMRI videos. Um, I know a lot of people have commented on some of the uh, JMRI videos that I've made. Uh, my new layout has um, a, a section of track that's isolated for programming track. I have my PR3 hooked up so I'll be able to do JMRI videos when, once I get my new layout set up. Another video series, and this probably will be a series that I plan on producing over the course, hopefully sometime August, September, maybe October. I have already purchased all of the parts and components from Logic Rail. They're Grade Crossing Pro. I'm going to hook up a Walther's Post 1960 cantilever crossing and um, going to wire that up to the Logic Rail grade, pro grade Crossing Pro. I purchased the infrared version, so this will automatically detect trains coming from either direction, and it will activate the, uh, the flashers on the, um, on the crossing. I purchased everything directly from Logic Rail, including their power regular, power regulator, the VPSR, so this um, 
if you know anything about the uh, Grade Crossing Pro, you know that um, it has a maximum voltage that it can withstand. So I want I played it safe, bought their power regulator, which will ensure that I do do not exceed any of the uh, voltage or amperage uh, um, limits that would possibly damage the circuitry or my crossing. I also got the uh, the sound module for the crossing bell and a speaker so I, I, I will be wiring all of this up. There aren't very many videos out there. I know some some guys out there have some videos on how to hook up the, the uh, Grade Crossing Pro but um, there were a couple things that I wanted to make clear when I do this so I'm going to be doing my own video series on the Grade Crossing Pro so look for that later on this summer or early fall. Finally, these are going to be probably more winter projects. Um, I have a diesel house, and when you see my layout being unveiled here in a few weeks, uh, I already have the base of the diesel house installed. The rails are installed. I've electrically isolated the rails from the rest of the layout so I can actually kill the power to the rails within the diesel house. You can have locomotives parked in there without being supplied with power when you're running trains so that they won't uh, you know, create a draw from the uh, from the DCC system. I also have a diesel refueling station. I had to kit bash that to make it fit on the layout. Again, you're going to see that because I had to, to 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 kit bash the the actual frame, and I I will show the assembly of the rest of that unit. I have a lumber company that I'm going to build because I one of the uh, industries that I'm putting on my layout is is a lumber yard, so I can you know uh, I have it set up next to uh, to a yard so I can unload lumber from rail cars and uh, I have a space on the layout for a large cornfield and I'm actually going to do two cornfields one of which is going to be a green cornfield and then another one which will be more of the fall harvest so it's going to be the you know sort of yellowish brownish type of corn and I want to be able to make to, to swap that out to simulate different seasons on my railroad. So I will show you how I plan to do that where I, I'll make two separate cornfields that are going to be interchangeable. So those are some of the things that I have upcoming on my channel. I want to thank everybody for subscribing to me. And if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe so you can see some of these great videos that are coming up.